three unexpected yet simple ways to attract your ex back using the law of attraction. We're gonna dive deep into this, but before I do so, I just wanna also thank our participants of this event who have all contributed towards putting their thoughts together and helping you also with this manifestation. Imagine there's hundreds of people right now, if everybody give them a wave, who are applying their energies right now giving you the blessings, giving you the healing to be able to attract what you want using law of attraction. This is what we call collaborative manifestation. So for those of you who don't, don't know, or this is the first video you've seen of mine, my name is Sri Akashna and nice to meet you all. And we're gonna dive straight into these techniques. But before we get into it, show reel, hit it. What's up guys, this is Sri Akashina here and in this video I want to share with you three simple yet unexpected ways that most people never even think about trying but it's very powerful to attract your ex back, right? And the first thing, we're going to dive straight into it, the first thing is called reverse scripting. Now why is this so powerful is because, and how does it work, it's very simple. A lot of people, they usually write what they want on a piece of paper. The big problem with that is when you write what you want on a piece of paper, you are in the lack mindset. You are saying you don't have that thing, therefore you are trying to manifest that thing, right? So always remember, you don't attract what you want, you attract what you are. So your best way to do it is to act as if it's happening already. Imagine that your ex is already coming back to you. But it's very, very tough trying to visualize something if it isn't actually happening, if maybe they're even messaging you saying, I hate you, get out of my life, right? And so that's why there's a simple way to do it and it's called reverse scripting. And what you do, right? If you're taking notes, make sure to write this down because these three will like, it'll totally change your life, it's very powerful, right? So the first thing, what you do is you will write a letter that's addressed from your ex. So imagine if your ex was writing you a letter and imagine that your ex really in this moment is wanting to get back with you. So maybe it was because of a big argument you had. Maybe it was because you did something wrong and you're asking for forgiveness, right? Whatever that thing is, put yourself in their shoes as if they have forgiven you and they really love you. They really want to be with you and they want to be back with you. So what you want to do, you want to write this letter, right? You can type it out you can print it out, you sign off their name on the bottom, and what you wanna do is you want to put it into the post and you wanna put your address and your name on the envelope. So what you do then is you actually physically put it into the post box. Yes, it does take a little bit more effort, right? The other ones are actually a little bit simpler, but this is very, very powerful. That's why I wanna give you all three ways. If you do all three ways, then obviously you're increasing your chances, right? So. Um, what you want to do, you actually want to post that letter and for it to arrive, probably it'll arrive the day after or the day after that. And, but once you post it, it's very important that you forget that you've done it. So don't be thinking, oh, I'm going to receive it tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to receive it. Cause that's, um, an attachment. When you do receive it, I want you to open it up and I want you to read out the words, right? That from your ex has wrote and written to you and you will read it out. And I'd like you to get into that feeling, get into the vibe of receiving that message from your ex, okay? Because that puts you into that perspective and visualization will become very easy because you've even had the feeling of that message coming to you, right? Now, moving on to the second thing, right? Telepathy. So what does that mean? It means actually speaking to them. Now, now some of you are thinking, yeah, but they're, they're, they blocked me, they're not answering my calls or whatever's happening right now, right? But we all know that energy is everything, everything is energy. What does this mean? It means that you actually have the ability to connect to anyone in the world, right? Like, like I, I know for some of you, you'll, you'll find like, how am I gonna even connect to her or him? And it sounds very tough right now, but let me ask you this question. Have you ever been in a moment before where you are, um, you're thinking about somebody, then that person messages you? right? And the average human will just call it coincidence. 
but it's because you are at their vibrational frequency. You are tuned into their channel. Therefore, they feel it. It's undescribable. They will feel like reaching out to you. So one practice I'd like you to uh, test out and try is just by um, getting, first of all, calming your mind with breath. And while your eyes are closed, while your eyes are closed, I'd like you to learn and practice to tune into their frequency. Because they're your, they're your ex, it's most likely you know how they usually feel, how they usually are, what their usual vibration is like. Just visualize them and be with them with their energy. Don't bring your energy into it. Be with them in their energy. So be feeling the emotions they may be feeling, what they are going through, what they're thinking. Be there. As long as you can feel it, you become it. You see, that's how law of vibration works. Once you've become it and you're in that vibration, now you can bring in the thoughts of how you want to take that vibration on the journey of possibly forgiving, of coming back to you. Now you want to slow, once you're tapped into that frequency, slowly move that thought onto uh, returning or love or unconditional love or, or forgiving or letting go or moving, mo moving back to you. You know, that type, of, that type of thought, right? Letting go of what happened and moving back with you. So you can do that, try this method. Now, this one takes a little bit more practice. The final one is simple and anybody can do, right? And last time I created this pillow technique for people who want to manifest money, we had like thousands and thousands and thousands of people saying, thank you so much. I received uh, uh, money within 24 hours. So it's very, very powerful. And that's very simple. All you do there is um, take a photo of your ex, maybe even take a photo of you and your ex, right? And look at it just before you sleep. Look at it. You can even fall asleep with it, place it under your pillow. You sleep on it. Subconsciously, your brain is going through the thought processes. The vibrations are still going. The subconscious mind is still going while you sleep. And what does this mean? You will be manifesting while you sleep, right? It's very, very powerful because it's unconscious mind. And because you are asleep, why it's so effective is because you will not be thinking in that moment. You will not be, you will not have attachment to outcome. You will just be sleeping, right? And phenomenal, phenomenal results will happen as long as you let go and you trust. Just know that the universe is behind you. The universe has your back. And aside from that, all of our energies are behind you. Wishing you all the best. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Also comment below, let us know where you guys have tuned in from. That's always nice to know. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign, by the way, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, I'm signing out. Namaste. Ciao.